let's start with the reading Sagittarius and start looking into your current situation that you're going through and what brings you today to this reading hmm what I see is that you are involved with someone thinking about someone and they are thinking about you but right now you are both ignoring each other but not for long really so first of all let's look into these two cards we had the hangman and the high priestess both of these cards are talking about no action and also both of these cards are talking about the fact that these people here they have put themselves there they are not forced to be there but they think that at least right now for now that's the best place to be in order to manifest the type of outcome that they want to see so let's start with the hangman what you see here is someone who takes that intentional pause that we were talking about even though uh that might mean sacrificing something that for them would be really important to receive right away so i do see that uh, this is either you or them but regardless this person would want to reach out would love to hear the other person to receive messages from the other person to know what they're doing how they're doing if they're thinking about you or about the other person or not so it's clear here that that position feels like a sacrifice for them and they would love a type of outcome that is completely different from this one but right now they think that this is the the way to get to that outcome to me this hangman feels like a strategy it feels like uh, a game something that they're doing on purpose in order to get whatever they, it is that they want to get they're also trying to create some so, sort of suspense here <sighs> trying to really uh, appear as though they are in demand trying to make you believe that you have to reach out to them in some ways and so this is a delays but still progressing though this is not someone walking the opposite way it's just someone who's not walking at all at least for now at times the hangman could signify self-sabotage and depending on how the situation evolves in between the two of you also because of this energy here brought by the hangman it might be sabotaging a connection that otherwise can be beautiful and so let's see you if this is you the high priestess the high priestess is also an energy that doesn't move in fact is often seen as a passive energy that makes no decisions no specific movements yet it's just there to analyze the environment and to try trying to find out messages here and there that could tell uh, the high priestess how when and where to move to so there is some sort of a slow reveal of knowledge which perhaps is uh, revealed from within you or outside you around you what do i mean by that maybe right now right at this moment while not hearing from this person you start realizing things that you didn't know about how you how about this person things that you didn't feel up to that point towards this person and those can be anything can be from um, you actually missing them so you instead realizing that you don't miss them so much we don't know yet by looking at this card but there is some sort of revelation here that you are receiving just by not connecting with them and uh, although you are also expecting for them to reach out you are also there not moving because you are trying to understand things that you wouldn't understand if you were to actually be distracted by their messages and by seeing them 
Also, they are creating suspense. You are creating some sort of mystery. Some sort of... Well, what are they doing? You want them to wonder, what are they doing? What are they thinking about? Are they thinking about me? Are they not? Are they talking to someone else, maybe? You like to create that suspense as well. <laughs> so the two of you, I uh, will add, unfortunately, now are on the same page as far as strategy. But your strategies are not bringing you together, at least right now. They're bringing you far apart or at least not moving towards each other at all. Are you happy about this? It doesn't look like you are. With the Four of Cups, you are wanting for more. You're wishing for more. This card is showing us someone who thinks that maybe there are some sort of missed opportunities and someone who's not really blocking, sorry, someone who is blocking the message not really seeing around them all the messages, all the things that maybe are telling you, hey, you should reach out to this person before it's too late. So they might see signs, you might see signs that tell you connect with that person, go ahead, send that message. But there, all these signs are ignored right now. And regardless of that, you both want more. You still want to hear from the other person. Now, this situation is not as blocked as we see it. Because in fact, right here, we had this Knight of Pentacles looking at us um, for this whole reading. And the Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving energy, but it is moving. And it's moving towards you. Now, this might not be them. It just might be representing the actual progression of the situation which is going to happen. It's going to, something It's coming up here with the Nine of Pentacles, which will solidify your foundation. And so let's look into what this is. Actually, right before doing that, I want to look into how you both feel towards each other and your overall intentions. Let me see what that is, because I'm curious to know um, yes, I see the strategy, but I don't see what you really want from each other. We'll do on this side how they feel and on this side how you feel. So you're definitely more mature than this person emotionally. We see, in fact, that they are trying to convince themselves that you don't care about them. And in a way, they are preparing for the worst. King of Swords is someone who is trying to detach emotionally from a situation. But as we see, they're just telling themselves that story. So that if they write about the fact that maybe you don't care, they will be prepared for it. Although they won't. They're just, this is another strategy. This person has a lot of strategies. And so what this King of Swords is preparing for is this Five of Cups, ready to let go, ready to move on, to let go of what doesn't work for me and just focus on the future. They are anticipating some sort of disappointment for you. And they know that soon will, they will have to face reality. This game cannot go for a long time. Also... I'm seeing that this person is playing all of these games because there is something from the past that it's making them feel this way. The five goes into the six of cups, which is about past memories. And with the five of cups, we also see old stories that become a part of you and how you move and how you react and what you say, your actions. So maybe in the past, They've had people pushing them away because they were too involved. They were trying to push the situation too much. And so they got pushed away instead. And right here, instead of finding a, a middle ground, they decide to do the opposite. I'm going to completely disappear for a day, a week, two weeks, so that they will want me. Mm. So on this end, instead, we see you. Uh, whenever you think about this person, you see the potential. You see that 
you want to be with that person. You're more in tune with your emotions and with your overall vision. You see the sun, you see the two of you being happy. You see the two of you able to be a good match, wanting the same things, having the same goals, growing together, expanding together. And with the Queen of Cups, we see that intuition that you have. You uh, feel that connection regardless of the fact that nothing is really happening in between the two of you. Right now, at least. But it's because you're honest to yourself. You're not pretending that you're going to be fine if this person doesn't want to be with you. They are. And so right here, we just see you wanting to do this. But at the same time, you're also waiting to understand if this person is even worthy of this. They are not reaching out. So why am I feeling the sun energy right there? Why do I feel this connection when they're not even talking to me right now? But I don't think that's going to last a long time. Nine of Pentacles right there. And the Nine of Cups right here. There is something coming up which is going to unblock the situation. I do believe that. Nine of Cups is a dream coming true. It's a wish coming true. Maybe the wish for you to hear from them or vice versa. Someone is reaching out. Someone is and we need to focus on how the situation is going to evolve after that message comes in. After the two, one of the two of you has finally given up on their position. And as we were saying, finally reaching out. So let's see who's going to send that message. And let's see how this conversation will change the relationship in between the two of you. How is that connection going to evolve from that moment forward? I'll be continuing the reading in the extended version. You can find the link uh, down below in the description. And also, thank you so much for deciding to support the channel. Also, don't forget that every week I randomly select viewers that have watched the extended video. So offer them a free personal 30 minute reading. So stay tuned for the extended preview right after this and some more content made just for you. Welcome back to your extended reading, Sagittarius. We see here two people right now ignoring each other. There is a connection. There is a wish to hear from that person. But for different reasons right now, you're both deciding to hold off to that conversation and not really reaching out to the other person. We have a hangman, we have a high priestess, and we see how soon things are going to change. The Nine of Pentacles is telling us that something slowly is coming up and it will perhaps change the way the two of you will um, approach the situation overall, the dynamic in between the two of you. So Nine of Cups to me, it was that message that we were talking about. And it's going to be coming from either you or the other person, or who knows, maybe from a friend in common telling you, hey, look, the other person is waiting for you to reach out. So let's look into that and let's see where this message is coming from. 